So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you run this, you're gonna type in net space user space administrator space forward slash active colon yes. And then click on enter. And now for the second step, you want to switch user to the administrator account that you just added. So we're gonna click on the Windows star icon and then click on our user profile and then click on the three dots and then click on switch user. And now we're gonna to go to the administrator account. You're gonna click on sign in. And now once we're here, you want to install the software or run the executable file that you wanted to run earlier, but it didn't let you. It will now let you run that. And then once you've done that, you just wanna sign back into your other account. So we're gonna click on the Windows star icon and then click on the administrator and then click on the three dots and then click on switch user. Now we're gonna to go to the other account. And now to disable the administrator account, you wanna head over to search again and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once you're on this, we're gonna type in net space user space administrator space full slash active colon no and click on enter. And then you should be good to go.